Let's take a look at another topic that I think has got great potential for a synoptic daily response followed by an essay. And that is the very topical issue about plastic pollution, the consequences of it, but in particular the consequences of uh, interventions in markets to address the issue. So our focus here is on the micro and macro effects of a tax on plastic products. For example, the plastic bag tax in supermarkets, but also perhaps a tax on disposable coffee cups, food containers and other products. Again, this is a question which invites you to think about micro and macro effects. It's just great preparation just to go through topic by topic and revision. You've already done the first two papers. Think about your microeconomic core concepts, for core ideas, likewise with macro, and then just apply and analyse and evaluate to your heart's content. So a tax on plastic products, for example, would have microeconomic effects. One consequence would be on the food and drink manufacturers who use plastic, for example, in containers, in cups. Their costs would go up, their variable costs would go up, other things being the same. That might cause them to increase the prices, so you could talk about the impact on consumers. But it would also certainly have an effect on their profits, depending on the elasticity of demand, and consequently the impact on returns to shareholders. What about the impact on other businesses, suppliers who don't use plastic packaging? So, for example, producers of multi-use containers, multi-use products, which might increase demand. So substitute products might benefit from a tax on plastic products and that again could be part of your analysis using for example simple supply and demand analysis to show that and of course crucially this would be a great opportunity for you to bring in your understanding of market failure plastic pollution is both an externality from production and also from consumption lots of scope here for some externalities diagrams and loss deadweight losses of social welfare in the absence of intervention on the macro side, plastic is so ubiquitous these days, it's so commonplace that clearly any significant intervention in the market would have a, a noticeable effect in many parts of the economy. Would there be, for example, over time, less dependence on oil-based products that use plastic? So we might see a fall in imports of products which use plastic, which would affect our trade balance. A tax on plastic products would obviously generate tax revenue for the government how much tax would be raised are we talking tens of millions of pounds hundreds of millions of pounds or perhaps even more how might the revenues be used so could the could the government impose a tax on pollution plastic pollution and use the revenue so-called hypothecation to fund uh, government spending in other areas for example in, in research or in early schools early years education or healthcare, and so on what about the possible impact on a macro scale on jobs, on employment, both in plastics industries and also in the retail sector, for example? What might happen to jobs if plastic taxes raise prices for consumers, cause their real incomes to go down, and that has a sort of downward negative effect on consumer confidence and consumer spending? All kinds of macro effects you could possibly pick out in your question. Lots of scope for diagrams, the externalities diagrams we've mentioned. You could use a simple indirect tax diagram if you wanted to be more ambitious. You could bring in a cost, revenue and profit diagram showing, for example, the impact of an increase in variable cost on the price and profits of producers. Keep in mind on the synoptic paper that your core content, which perhaps you haven't quite yet used in the first two papers, that core content still does matter. Okay, so all those issues to do with potential government failure, the impact of an intervention on different stakeholders, including families of different incomes and small and large firms, that can all be brought into your evaluation, into your discussion. And likewise, you might want to think in terms of evaluation of whether a tax is not as effective as another alternative. So should the government regulate, for example, ban certain types of plastic products? Or should they try to stimulate the use of behavioural nudges? Here are two contextual examples just in the last week or so. Highland Spring, one of Britain's biggest um, mineral water um, water bottle producers, they've decided to trial the first ever 100% recycled bottle. Iceland, a major retailer, have now, are now bringing in reverse vending machines to try and incentivise people 
to earn a little bit of cash by bringing back bottles, for example. But lots of talk about banning products that are unnecessarily made from plastic. So, for example, cotton buds and, and plastic straws. I think the Scottish government is committed to banning plastic straws. And all kinds of ways to try and perhaps encourage producers to just stop using so many different types of plastic so that it's more easy to recycle. Loads of issues here. I think plastic pollution, the effects of a tax or the consequences of pollution at a micro macro level are just very ripe for a synoptic essay. Who knows? This might come up.